sorry, I can't call you dad anymore. It, it feels weird because you're my brother. I don't hate you. I just hate the lies. I think I deserve to know everything. That's the best I'm owed, isn't it? No. Sorry, there's something I'll have to find out for myself. I mean, have you any idea how I'm feeling? Really, have you any clue? This isn't about you anymore. I need time to get my head around it. Look, Callum will be zooming with me in a minute and I want to be the one to tell him. You and mum owe me that. I'll speak to you when the time is right, okay? Yeah. See ya. Callum, hi. Yeah, hey, you're right, dog, right? How's it hanging? Yeah, how's lockdown in Leeds, eh? You behaving yourself? Trying. But you know me when I've got time on my hands. Is Dad still stuck on that ship then? I haven't spoken to him for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. And Mum, she okay? I'm not being funny, but you could contact them more often and... Yeah, sure, I know. I just forget, you know what I'm like? Kind of glad you haven't spoken to them the past few weeks, though. There's something you should know, and I want to be the one to tell you. Sounds ominous. Don't know the half of it. You told them about Dima, haven't you? That I warned you about keeping stuff from them. No, this isn't about Dima. It's about them. Cal, do you think we look alike? God, no. Thank God, too. I got the looks and you got the common sense. Boring git. Please, this is a big deal for me. Oh, all right. What is it, you know? You want plastic surgery to look as cute as me? Look, this is hard for me to say, okay? Just find out that Dad... David... is not my father and... we're just half-brothers and... Oh, that explains so much. Reprieve. What do you mean? Why well, you're weird and I'm not. And in four years' time, I'm not going to turn into a surly 25-year-old with a pole up my ass like you. Hooray. Callum, this is serious, mate. All right, I agree. It is quite serious. But only a little. David is not my dad, and that's not the worst of it. Oh, don't tell me. Mum had more than a recorded delivery from the postman. No, wait, um, the other milkman's, right? That'll explain your pasty complexion. Or maybe the window cleaner. Spray on, wipe off. <laughs> Listen, you little shit, this is serious. It's not a joke, Callum. For God's sake, Daniel, stop being so bloody conservative. It's the 21st century, this sort of thing happens. I bet half the student population of my uni are living with people who only think of their real parents. What difference does it make? Is it still my real dad? Yes. So, we are half-brothers. I can live with that. Cal... My real dad is Philip. David's dad, so... David and I are half-brothers, and... That's weird. So you're technically my uncle. Oh, brilliant. Wait till I tell Evie. What the bleeding hell is wrong with you? What do you mean? I feel like I've had the rug pulled from under me and it's just a joke to you, right? I thought I could rely on you for some support here. Well, yeah. You see, I look at it this way. You haven't told me anything that's really surprised me because well, we were always different. I mean, you never played with me when we were kids. Your bloody head stuck in your Shakespeare plays and that stupid Kafka, or whatever his name was. Kafka. See, there you go again. Details. It doesn't matter. It, it is what it is, dog breath. Look, are you any less you 
Has your childhood been ruined by this? Or are you any less the bloody spoiled you've always been? No, once the golden boy, always the golden boy. So your perfect life's been shaken. Just move on. You can't change it and... You don't care, do you? You don't give a shit that we aren't brothers. No, Daniel, I don't. And do you know why? Because it doesn't matter. You are still as important to me as you've always been. And we're all still blood related, so no, I, I don't care, because it changes nothing for me. Well, it does for me. Well, then that's for you to deal with, isn't it, Dogbra? I'll still be here when you work it out for yourself. I will still be your brother. And keep your secrets like I've always done. Gotta say, though, you're... You're pretty rich, moaning to me about secrets and the way you've kept important stuff from mum and dad. That's different. No, it isn't at all. Lies spiral, Dan. And you always get found out in the end. Be like me, eh? I have no secrets, because I couldn't give a shit what other people think. No one's broken any rules here. I'm protecting mum, really. If she can get to know if it gets too serious. No, sorry. You're looking after number one like you always have. Just tell them. Again, Daniel, it's 2020, not 1820. I love Dima, but... But she's a trans woman. So what? She's hot, too. I would. After a couple of pints. Oh, just piss off, Callum. I was hoping for a bit of support from you, that's all. But you have it. You always have. But stop being a flaming drama queen and just tell them about Dima. Mum wants grandkids. Dan, you never did learn to cross bridges when you come to them. You're too bleeding serious. It's always been your problem. It's so easy for you to say, but... Oh, look, I've got to go, bro. Or should I say, Uncle Dan? I'll speak to you soon. Do me a favour. Lighten up, will ya? Bye! <laughs>